Hello, this is Pamela Stampin' Pink Rose, and this is our Friday card fold. I don't know if you want to call this an easel card or what. I have been playing with the B set. Let me pull it over here. And it's called Honey Bee, and I think it's absolutely adorable. It has a little circle one up here if you want to use Wishing Your Sunshine Happiness. Thinking of you, sweet friend, and that's the one I used on mine. Hello, thank you. Celebrate every moment. And then it's got the B. And it actually has in it two Bs. It has the smaller B and the larger B on it. Here's the larger B. So I'm going to hold this up because laying down flat is not doing its justice. So it stands like this. Now, if you want these to hold together a little better, you could either glue it or you could make a couple cute tabs and wrap it here to the back of here and then that way it would stay in place. So, otherwise it wants to do when it uh, tilt down. So you could decide how you want to do it. But I thought it was just simply really cute to do this card. And it's a very simple, easy card. And I think sometimes we try to make our fold so complicated that it's a little ridiculous. And that's fine when we want it for a special reason. But if we want a cute little card to send to a friend, this one will do. I think it's adorable. Here's the inside of it. And that's where I put the bigger B in there with paper. And then you can write a little note or do what you want and of course you can change this up to a hello or a happy birthday whatever you're wanting to do so let's get started with this card and I'm going to show you it was I and I've pulled out the paper this is the honeybee paper and there's some cute honeycomb and there's some stripe and then there's some pattern like this. There's just all kinds of adorable. I've only brought out this part of it and I've really been tearing it apart and when I get another order going I'm going to probably order some more of this paper. This will be my probably my third pack of that paper because I love it. All right so let's pull this over. So what you're going to want and my desk is really crowded and messy today. Okay is you're going to want a piece of black and you're going to want to cut it at four and a fourth by the 11th. So you are going to want the total length. You're not going to want to bring it down to an eight and a half. And that cutter, I have no idea, was, has been a little stubborn today. Then you are going to fold it at five and a half. So you'll do your scoring at five and a half. And then you will just simply fold it. Okay, that's all it is to that part of it. Okay, on that. Then the next piece is you're going to take your black and you're going to cut it to a uh, five and a half. So you're literally going to cut that pe uh, second piece in half. Okay. So you're going to have it like this. Now you obviously don't need it this long. So, I am trying to remember what I did on that. Let's take a look. Where did I put my card? Okay. It was two and a half. So, I want it at five and a half. So, I do want five and a half. So, then what I'm going to do is at two and a fourth, two and a half, uh, two and three fourths and we can always cut it down farther than this okay we'll start with that because you can always take off and let me compare yeah it's a little bit longer and I don't want it quite up this high guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to go to two and a half, and we're going to see what we think. And I'll have the measurements on the sides of what I've done. All right, now let's see how this compares. Pretty close. Okay, so now we've got it at two and a half scored. So that would be at five. 
And what you're going to do next, and I do want to make sure you are seeing this. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to take the score away. And what I'm going to do is on the back side, I want to glue it. So now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put my snail okay and I'm going to adhere right at the fold right at the fold and I want to make sure I've got it on right okay so now I've got it right at the fold so now that's where you have your crease. And if I had my bone folder out here, it would crease it even better. Okay. So do a good crease. Okay. So now you have your card looking like this. Okay. So now our next move is to put in our piece at four inches. So now I'm going to cut this honeycomb at four inches and then I'll give you the other measurement but it is going to be on the site for you so you don't need to worry about this okay so now I've got this at five inches and you may want it a tad longer like five and a fourth but I've got it at five and a four, five inches and I am not going to waste paper so it will be perfectly fine with the black to have it at five but I will probably list it on the side at five and a fourth okay okay and you're going to snail that down all right so now you want this on the front just like that okay and then I have the honeycomb already pre-cut that comes in here right here and I stamped it on white in the crushed curry because I wanted it a little bit deeper now the bottom half about a bottom fourth is all you want on your snail okay so now you need that but you need to do one more thing and that is add your striped paper so let's get the striped paper in. I about forgot it. And I need to cut it at four. So I want it going four across. And it is two and a half is the width. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on and get this on right now. In fact, I want it a little shorter. Now, you guys are getting to see how I do things and adjust as I go. So now, I cut that down to two. Okay. I wanted a little more showing. And that's fine because this part of it is going to get covered anyway with your uh, beehive. Something like this is kind of how you like the looks of it. Okay, now I'm going to put that on there. See how that we've got that going? Okay, now I supposedly cut some beads already. And leave it to me. No doubt I'm losing them already. Lovely. I didn't want to have to cut those bees again. Okay, there they are. And you know what I left off? I'll go grab it. Is I've got it here. Dimensionals. And my dimensionals are a little big that I've got. So I'll split it in two. And I'll get two. It's nice to be back doing videos after being out sick last week. 
I know some of you guys sent me a message and said you hope I get well soon and I appreciate it and there and that you understood that with a cough and I also was sneezing some that I didn't want to try to get through a video doing that okay now there is that now let's bring this in and you can see what I did and I think this was the classic label punch then what I did was I added another honeybee over here I just didn't cut another one out but I add another honeybee right there and then inside add your white which is your four by five and a fourth and add a honeybee and I colored the bees with my blends of the uh, the dark mango because I want a little darkness to the the bees instead of having a light color but that's it and uh, as I said, you will find on my blog the uh, Stampin' Pink Rose. You will find the measurements and the directions for doing this. I will give you your exact measurements of the paper and all the supplies you need for creating this cute card. But this is just an adorable, simple card. And as I said, if you want to tab it so it holds or you want to give a little snail here and here, you could do that and then that way it holds together so because you don't need to be able to get down in here so I think I'm going to because it's going to be easier to do the picture I'm going to put a little tab of adhesive right there okay there because that's going to be easier to do the photography on this so again this is Pamela Stampin' Pink Rose. Uh, anything you want to see, you got any questions, email me at Pamela at Stampin' Pink Rose. I do respond to people. I love hearing from you. After all, I love creating because I love to show you what I'm coming up with. Um, and thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because next Tuesday it will go out and it always has unique ideas. Uh, so that will be going out. And... Uh, have a great weekend, and thanks for joining me for this blog post. Take care.